people just got finished completing their lesson plan. That is a process. That's the one thing I dislike about being an early childhood educator is doing a lesson plan because they keep changing the format. But it is what it is. I'm reading this book, My Act, 42 Plus God, Common Sense Approach, Ideas to Live in a Prosperous Life in Truth, Justice, Order, Balance, and Love. The book is written by Latoya Page. Balcom. I think I did a partial video on it talking about the um virtue. That's number one. Our honor virtue. Honor from the Latin honors or honoris means the evaluation of another. Virtue behavior showing high moral standards and a lot of people lack morals these days living a life in accord with freezing and virtue is living a life of purpose vow worth respect morality integrity dignity decency and nobility Virtue is having the ability to attempt to discover what might be deemed as good or moral character and to apply that moral character as the basis of one's choices to exhibit good behavior. Examples. Let's get deep, y'all. Let's get deep. Your moral barometer should tell you not to flirt or have intercourse with another man's wife or another woman's husband but you know today's world society people do not value marriage your moral your moral barometer should tell you not to sell drugs to underage people or to sell drugs at all your moral barometer should tell you not to spitefully misuse or abuse another person your moral barometer should tell you not to gossip about other people or spitefully divulge information that was entrusted to you. Your, barom your moral barometer should tell you not to steal that type of paper or miscellaneous items from work or place just because no one is looking. And you know the majority of us are guilty of taking a pen, taking a pencil, taking some paper. People have taken rolls of tissue, whatever small item they can get their hands on. Your moral barometer should tell you not to do that. Your moral barometer should tell you not to blow your money on lottery tickets or at casinos when your children need food, clothing, and shelter. Your moral barometer should tell you not to have unprotected sex, especially when you know you have multiple partners. Your moral barometer should tell you not to get that woman or man's phone number when you know that you are in a committed relationship. Your moral barometer should tell you to give your services or products away freely to those who aren't able to pay. If they are in dire straits and their finances are in a bond or reduce the price. You must choose for your own personal reasons to listen to that moral barometer that is within everyone to use. Living by the principles of my yacht will definitely help train the ear to hear and the heart to listen. What y'all doing kissing? What y'all doing kissing? Black and white cat, boy and girl. Now the black cat always snap at the white cat, but I don't know what they was just doing just now. That was interesting. I benefit with gratitude, gratitude, the quality of being thankful, readiness to show appreciation for kindness and to return the kindness shown. Living a life with a positive attitude increases good emotional health. Giving thanks for all life blessings on a daily basis. Practicing gratitude helps one's self-esteem as well. Gratitude is most beneficial when practiced. Perhaps this can be life altering by improving well-being by curbing depression and anxiety. However, when suddenly life throws you a curve and people or things are abruptly snatched away, you can still find gratitude in your heart. If you live 
a life where you are naturally appreciative of people and all that you have, then life's little ups and downs won't have such a terrible and devastating effect on your emotions. Because you'll know that with all that comes into your life for a reason, lesson, or season, you are to be grateful with the embrace and the release. Ashe. You will cause yourself more pain resistant than forced lifestyle change because that gratefulness will turn into anger, self-pity, and eventually self-loathing. There is joy everywhere you are, but it can be easily overshadowed by pain and frustrations if you allow it to. I am peaceful. Peaceful, free from disturbances. Living a peaceful life requires in habits. Living a life of contentment and with ease escapes the madness of, of it all. Whatever the task, do it slowly and with ease and mindfulness, so not do any task with the goal of getting them over with. Resolve to each task in a relaxed and stressful way before your attention. Peace is not a day full of madness where you are stressed out from the grind and the chaos, the chaos of the business of the day. It's not about the hustle and bustle, but rather enjoying each activity and each day. Staying in the moment and being present and passionate rather than rushing to finish things. And I respect the property of others is another one. Um, I affirm that all life is sacred, sacred spiritually connected to the creator of, of all living things. All created life is sacred. Human life especially is has supreme value than all of our life. We must protect our fellow brothers and sisters because that is the utmost importance to our creator. All life should experience a natural death. I give offerings that are genuine. I live in truth. True facts or reality, the real fact, quality, or state about something is true. Live in your truth no matter what that truth may be. Whatever that is, is your happiness. Perhaps learn to live by moral principles rather than doctrines. Life is more meaningful when living what you vow. Living in your truth means not lying or hiding who you are. However, you don't have to disclose your personal business unless you're absolutely comfortable with the individual you wish to tell. Some things are on a need-to-know basis. Remember that everyone deserves a front seat in your life. And those are just some examples of living your life. And truth, justice, order, balance, and love. Get the book. The book is, is, is good for those who want to grow and evolve. And become a better human being. Peace and blessings and a whole lot of love. God is hot there. Be sure to drink water because water is good for you.